Hi everyone, Zero here, and welcome to another quick tutorial. Um, this actually is an add-on lesson to the last tutorial we did, um, how to make clothes for the kimono. It just add time and water. Sorry, I forgot those long titles sometimes. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do in this lesson is show you how to rig clothes to the fit mesh torso uh, add-on for the kimono avatars. Now the process is pretty much the same as the last one, but the, um, I think people were having problems with it because uh, the creator on the latest Blender and the Avastar 2.0 and, you know, ugh, those programs. Some of us like the older ones, so I'm going to show you how to rig your fit mesh kimono clothes uh, using an old blender because you can see here I'm on 2.70 and an old Avastar which is 1.11045 1045 that's the version that I use so it's really old but you get the same result okay so the first thing you're going to do is open up the blend file that I included inside of the, t the tutorial, the description, yeah, inside a description box there is a blend file that I included and it'll let you follow along and do everything that I'm doing. It's the same dev kit that you get from the creator, only I, you know, jazzed it up a little bit to make it, you know, function a little bit better for the older blenders. So what you're going to do is open up that file. So I'm going to just go to my well, I think it's like recent and it will say fit it there it goes kimono this one tutorial fit it kimono body stop blend. you want to open that file and when you open it it'll look like this because I forgot to not activate all the layers at once so what you're going to do is turn these three on these two on and it'll just be the body if you have a um what's it called a flat chested kimono you can just activate this layer down here and then that that way you can model with your flat chested kimono so I already showed you how to make clothes and we're going to pretend like we went through marvelous designer and all that jazz and made a bodysuit for these and that'll be right here and I actually made it on a big bust one so I'm going to put this here and make sure I set a weight to transfer right so we have our garment already and in imported into blender and what we're going to do next is press the A key. Well, wait, before we do anything, I'm going to press the N key and turn on the display so you guys can see what keys I'm pressing. Okay, so what we're going to do, we have our garment already imported into Blender. Uh, we're going to press A and deselect everything. And then we're going to select the dress, hold down the shift key, click on the bones up here. And if the bones are in pose mode, I want you to go down here and switch it to object mode because that's what it should be in. So you're going to select your, um, what is this, the dress, the bodysuit, hold down shift, excuse me, uh, hold down shift and select the eye bone, well, the bone, oh, goodness, excuse me, so sorry. Then you're going to press control P. And it's going to bring up the set to parent menu and you're just going to press the automatic weights and then we're going to transfer the body weights to the body suit so we're just going to click on the body down here hold down the shift key again select the garment so you always want to do body first then garment never garment then body or else you'll transfer the bodysuit weight well the garment weights to the body we don't want that we want the body to garment so body first hold down shift select the garment then we're going to go over here to object mode and switch it to weight paint mode and if you did it right you'll see that the garment it will turn blue um, we're going to scroll down on the side the tools tab and we'll scroll down until we see transfer weights and that's it now when you transfer weights you're going to want to make sure you have the all nearest face all selected um, if you are in a blender that is 2.73 and up 
this is totally different and I don't know what to tell you to pick. So that's why I always suggest when you want to get the now now fast rigging to stay between 2.70 and 2.72. Those are the best blenders for a second life in my honest opinion. I'm sure others would object to that. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have the weights transferred, we're going to click on the bones again and then go into pose mode. And we're going to press R and rotate it, test the weights out. Everything looks pretty good. Alright, so if you're happy with the way the weights are, you can go on to export. But if you want to weight paint, you know, I already explained that in the last one. So I'll give you a quick rundown of it this way. You just click on it, select the, what is this, the mix brush. The weight is the heat. The hotter it is or higher the number is, means the more control the bone has over the mesh. And the lower the weight is, means the colder it is, the less control the bone has over the mesh. Uh, radius is how big the circle is here. So bigger it is, big circle, smaller it is, small circle. Uh, strength is how powerful the weight is going on to there. So I always turn that up for the most part. Um, if something doesn't look right, you wanna, you're wanna, you just going to have to pretty much just get the right temperature between them. But if it, you know, it bends right and it falls within a nice alpha spot, you can probably just get away with it. It's all up to you. So I'm just going to leave the default weights that came from the body transfer um, on here. Oh, something that I wanted to point out. Um, sometimes when you're working on this, because other stars can be stupid sometimes. When you look over here, it'll say that it's actually classic mode and you want to switch it over to fit mesh. It's already fit mesh because we attached the garment to a fit mesh skeleton. So even though Blender, I mean, uh, Avastar is registering it and saying that it's classic, it's actually a fit mesh. So don't worry about that. All right, so now it's exporting time. We're just gonna click on the garment and then go to file, export, Collada Avastar. And I'm gonna name this bodysuit for testing dot day and we're just going to hit export and then go into second life here's my new kimono and import it so build mesh upload bodysuit for testing oh and make sure before you put it on you color you resin and color it uh, I made the mistake of leaving my um, bodysuit white and I had a white body on at the time so I was like nope it looks perfectly fine no need to work on that and then when I changed the color you can see the whole stomach collapsing inside of itself so, like, well. <laughs> so make sure you change the color so you can actually see what's going on alright so we have bodysuit colored and we're going to wear it and there you have it so we're going to try looking at it and see if it needs some tweaking try dancing that's the best way to discover errors in your garment so I may want to work on the weight painting a little more around the arms and stuff I got the demo body Oh, well I guess the demo part isn't loading, but I had the demo body and, um, wait, am I even wearing the, the fit mesh? Yeah, I'm wearing the fit mesh shorts, okay. Um, I have the demo version, not even the real fit mesh one. <laughs> so, I don't think it has alphas, so I can't check and see where the alphas would cut off it. But I guess with the full version, you would be able to see that. Um, as you can see, we go over here to uh, see, kimono. Yeah. Oh no, it would be in this folder. So I can just prove to you that it is fit mesh. So I'm gonna go back in here. Stop looking at all the stuff that I bought. I bought it. All right, there we go. All right, so we have our kimono shapes. I'm just gonna put on a few shapes to show you that it is fit mesh
and you see it's got jiggle going on too these shapes are weird <laughs> wow that's terrible what's going on back there I guess you gotta ma still make um what you call it what are those things called stale um, custom sizes for it but for the most part that's well that's just weird where's my normal pearl shape um, Oh damn, I lost it. Perk. Uh, oh. Oh, well, whatever. You guys know that where I'm going with, with this. You just put on your regular shape. And, um... It should work out fine because this is terrible. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. Um, let me just try this one more time to get normal. There we go. That's my normal shape. Oh god, that was so hideous. All right. So yeah, there you go. That's how you rig clothes uh, to the fit mesh torso. And I hope this helps you out a bit. Uh, if not, well, leave a comment below and we'll try to work it out together. Or hopefully somebody else who knows how to do it right will come along and then we can work it out together. <laughs> Alright, well, this has gone on long enough. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope it helps you out. My name is Zero, and I can't wait to help you guys out with another problem. See ya!